I think it would be appropriate to say a few words on, on the ongoing offshore testing and commercial scale uh, that we're performing in, in the Irish Sea uh, here at Minesto. Uh, it's, it's really good to be back in this uh, verification and testing mode. It, you can really feel it internally in the organization with the whole R&D team in, in Gothenburg uh, sort of involved in analyzing and collecting data and, and the operations team taking pride in, uh, in the successful work that they, that's ongoing there now. If, if we reflect upon what what we're doing this year compared to, to last year, it's, it's really easy to say that, that now we have an established, fully functional operational team, uh, which is more than an asset related to the ongoing, let's say, demonstration testing there. Uh, this is also the team that we will rely on for, for the project rollout, uh, independent of geographic location. Testing in itself is, of course, I mean, we're gathering information related to electricity production which for everyone is, is, is the core aspect of what we're doing. And there are several control parameters uh, that will influence how much electricity and what type of electricity we get out. And of course, operating conditions as well. What is less discussed, but at this stage equally important for us, is that we also reach uh, certainty and, and, and relevant robustness in a lot of supporting aspects of, of flying kites. And, and a few examples of those things are, for instance, um, the installation process, uh, where we now have uh, a, a more, let's say, depth independent configuration. We're using a shorter tether, uh, which means that we need to install it at the seabed. Uh, and this is the first time we perform this in, uh, in commercial large scale systems. Uh, and it worked faster than expected and really according to plan. Another area could be, could be also related to, to installation, but more on the service maintenance side, uh, where, where we actually now can tow the system. Uh, it has enough buoyancy to be towed by, by a smaller vessel back and forth to site, which then, of course, will be an integrated part of, of service maintenance programs. Uh, and the cost winnings of that are significant. Smaller vessels and vessels no longer need to have uh, cranes and lifting capacity, which would have been the case if they were on board the vessel. Another area to, to be mentioned here is the non-flight phases of, of operation. Uh, I mean, we need to start it, we need to park it uh, in, in the short uh, period of time when, when the tide is turning. And we also need a stable turning procedure uh, when the tide is shifting from, from one direction to, to the other direction, which is the natural behavior of tidal. Uh, and all those supporting operating modes, uh, they are robust and they work exactly as we've intended them to work. Another aspect to it that is less talked about is related to safety modes and situations where, where something is not working where, for instance, communications to the kite or uh, power to the kite is, is compromised. Uh, and those are all the functions that are highly relevant to get your marine licenses extended and, and, and to prove to, to project investors that, that you have sort of a safe operation. Uh, and that has also been thoroughly tested uh, during, uh, during this week of operation that we have behind us since we installed last week. So those are just a few examples of, of areas where we tick the boxes uh, for, for things that needs to be in place uh, for, for the commercial installations of several units in, uh, in an array, uh, which is what we have, have ahead of us in this.